what's going on welcome back to the channel now that we have all the cabinets well for the most part officially released legacy and otherwise i wanted to take a look at some of the design choices with some of these new cabinets versus the old and the first thing i want to start with is this new control panel layout they have it mounted in between the side panels creating this slight ridge that uh, i think could be a problem you can see this continued even with the uh, killer instinct cab Looks like this is just going to be a new design going forward. I think that's going to be an issue possibly with the first player's left hand and the second player's right hand. Um, you know, we've got the screws that are exposed or, or elevated, which they did that when they uh, included the deck protector, so there's no way around that. But I think that's going to maybe cause you to feel a little cramped. Now, I think I one reason why I think they went with this is because that T-molding or the faux T-molding for the side panels is now not interrupted by the control panel. So that gives it uh, a more authentic look, I think. But this may be an example of choosing, uh, you know, form over function. You can see this also as another example, the, uh, the Capcom Legacy Cab definitely shows up a lot more with that yellow uh, T molding. See that continue all the way around, and uh, of course that brings us up to my next complaint. The biggest problem I think is these, the wings, the the wings, the recessed marquee is really the issue. Not so much the wings; it's just the fact that we've we've pressed that marquee deep within the arcade, which just you know it's just not arcade accurate. Accurate. I mean, I I know from the side view, the side panel looks a little more accurate, but the way they've pressed that marquee into the into the uh, arcade. It just, I just don't like, it doesn't work for me. You see what they've done with the Killer Instinct, and once again, I know this isn't finalized, but much more fluid. It makes so much more sense to have that marquee nearly flush. Now, the Pac-Man Legacy Cab is also sort of the same thing, but the way this cab is shaped, it doesn't really uh, seem as odd. Um, and this is also actually a design cue on the Pac-Man cabs that they've had really forever. If you go back to the 40th anniversary edition and uh, also the Miss Pac-Man cab, this is almost a design that they've just carried over. And I think with the flow of this side panel, it doesn't, uh, doesn't seem that odd or out of place. I am a fan of the original side panels, um, you know, seen here on the X-Men Street Fighter. Just that I know it's not specific to the arcades themselves, the individual cabs, but I liked the flow of this. Just a little bit of overhang, marquee, nice, and uh, for the most, it's slightly recessed. And just scrolling through, looking over all the cabs, you can see that slightly recessed marquee in every cab design with the exception of the new Legacies. Um, yeah, I just, it, that works for me more on this three-quarter scale than the wings. Now with the Burger Time cab, obviously that was a very specific um, look they were going with the side panels, so it's not really fair to compare that to the new wing design. And of course we should have seen this coming with the Outrun cab. There's really no reason why this marquee is pressed in. I know line of sight has been an issue for some, but in this cab, specifically, you're, you're seated. You're sitting down, so that really shouldn't matter at all. Um, just just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't flow that well for me, but it's not as dramatic as it is on the Legacy cabs. And now the best looking design, I think, of the new cabs is going to be the X-Men cab. I'm a little frustrated with the games list or the number of games that are included on this, but this design works better for me. I think this is uh, a, a conceptual uh, design or image here because that's, that's extremely flush, the marquee is. I think that the marquee is probably going to be maybe uh, just slightly recessed back, maybe another half inch, uh, like every other cab in the collection. <laughs> but um, but for the most part, this works with me. This makes so much more sense to have that marquee pushed out. So this also sort of runs against the line of sight issue or argument. So side by side, you can really, really see the difference. You can see my point. Hopefully, I think I'm making my point clear that having that marquee pressed inward just doesn't work and uh, from a branding perspective the marquee is partially obscured uh if you're it, for all fangle viewing i mean this is a perfect example you can't see the m in the mortal Kombat 2 on the marquee uh it's just not there the x-men uh marquee is so much more prominent it's right there it's front and center and it just it just looks better it looks more like the arcades themselves so am i making a big deal about this uh I don't think so, but uh, they're asking a lot of money for these cabs, and I think to get the design, 
perfect is not out of the question.